said he had his work cut out to follow the king, but this man's a class act in his own right. I can only be me, and that's what I'll do to the best of my capabilities. We'll see what happens from there. He was that type of player who could drop in the hole and, and link the play and knit things together very well. Plus, he could score a goal and two great feet, Teddy. I mean, he was a terrific player, Teddy, Shillingham. His debut back at Tottenham left him with mixed emotions, victory but a missed penalty. And though the fans were sniggering, it was Teddy who would have the last laugh. Dix with the cross, Sheringham! Teddy Sheringham scores his first goal for Manchester United. Disaster for Roy Keane at Ellen Road, a cruciate ligament injury that would keep him out for the season. Definitely heard something snap and I knew it wasn't my shin pad, I knew it was something in my leg, you know. And Dave says, what happened, you tear all your nerves, so you don't really know if you're injured or not, you know. So I went back on and Bob said I knew it was something serious and we'd already brought on the two or three subs we were allowed on, so I thought if I go off, you know, we're going to be down to um, ten men. It's a slow process, I know that. As I said, mentally that's the hard part, knowing that I won't be kicking the ball for, you know, five, six, seven months. Despite losing their driving force, United responded in typical fashion. The goals were flowing. So was the football. It was some of the best Old Trafford had witnessed in years. Beckham's kick. Sheringham. <laughs> Lovely touch on. Solskjaer takes it in his stride. Magnificent goal. Is there a team in the land good enough to stop them? Well, that Holland has he let Cole get away from him? He has a chance for Andy Cole. He goes on and he scores for Manchester United. Beckham, goal, the free kick, struck to perfection. Showing him got to it, Cole puts it in, 3-1, Andy Cole again. As the season approached the turn of the year, the Reds slipped into overdrive. They looked unstoppable. They were top of the table. But inexplicably, they stumbled. Out of all places, Coventry City. It was 2-1 up at Coventry with five minutes to go. And, uh, you know, it's not like a Man United team to lose that kind of kind of lead to a team like Coventry. So, uh, I think the, uh, you know, I think you look back and Coventry was definitely the turning point. It wasn't just the loss of Roy Keane the Reds had to cope with. In magical form, Ryan Giggs suffered a hamstring injury that many felt would eventually cost United the title. The difference of not having him or having him in the team is, is enormous. From that moment, uh, we got in trouble. <laughs> we had a terrible time that season, you know, and it was just... People can never pick a team when we played Arsenal. And that decisive game, we had Ben Thorn and John Curtis, Phil Neville in midfield, and we were just, just no players at all. And then we get an injury, Ronnie Johnson come off in the Arsenal game. That's what cost us the game actually. Ronnie Johnson come off, and we to change Gary Neville from centre half to right back. The ball come in towards David May to head clear, and Gary come in as a centre half. I think it's have scored in the Premiership. We are back in the race, yes. We have uh, games in hand, but of course that's not easy to say that we will take, pick the points in this, with these games. But at least there is a chance, yes, to be back in the race. And it just is uh, relying on us now. It was yet another major injury blow to a key man. Peter Schmeichel limping out just when the Reds needed him most. I defy any team to play to its top level without the four best players. You've got to admire the, um, the willingness to, to stick in there. I mean, like I say, everybody, everybody else was saying it was all over come sort of end of February time. If they're not conceding goals, then um, they're always going to nick games. And uh, you know, I think they've won a fair share of 1 0s again this year. On the one hand, we could feel sorry for ourselves, but on the other hand, in terms of being magnanimous, uh, they certainly had a fantastic run, Arsenal.